Yes, yes, it's visible. Sorry? It's visible. I can see I can see the screen. Okay, fine. So um, so uh, yesterday we have uh, installed a DMGR profile and we started a DMGR server and administrative console also. Yes. Okay. Now today we will install uh, the second profile is uh, application server profile. Okay. Mm. So before going to install, I'm starting the first DMGR profile. So let me start. Okay. IBM web server. Okay. Profiles. DMGR profile bin directory. Start manager.sh. Are you practicing the classes like in your personal laptop? No, actually, <laughs> I'm working on this environment right now. Without knowing mm. anything, I'm working on it. <laughs> mm. I'm upgrading where recent versions and all these things right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's It is taking time. <clears throat> okay. So, survey is started. <clears throat> now, uh, open administrative console. So for opening administrative console, I need uh, details of the port number. Okay, so con go to config directory. Under this we have cells, DMGR cell, nodes, DMGR node. So under this we have server index.xml file ls hyphen ltr so open this server index.xml file here you can see all the port numbers okay so go to port number uh, this is the administrative console port number 9062 okay so now open the console open the browser
http colon double slash localhost and 9062 IBM console. login okay this is administrator console okay and uh, I'm going to configure application server profile uh, this is the second profile first we have installed DMGR after that normal application server profile okay so as I told you before federation the application server profile and DMGR profiles are separated okay so after federation the application server profile entire configuration will be moved to DMGR profile okay after federation okay so <clears throat> after that we cannot open administrative console for application server so we can do the administrative task for the application server from the DMGR console itself. Okay. So before federation, we can open administrative console for application server profiles also. So after federation, we cannot. Okay. So now I am going to configure application server profile for that. So go to this. Go back. Go back to the VAS root under bin directory. There is a folder called profile management. So this is the folder. So go to this folder. Profile management. Here run the command like dot pmt dot sh. Okay. Run this command. It will open a graphical template. In this template, we can configure application server profile. Okay, so here I can see already one profile is installed that is DMGR. Now I am going to create another profile. Click on create button here. Create. So it will show you all the available profiles here. So by default application server profile is selected because already we have installed a DMGR. That's why it is showing application server profile here. So select the application server profile and click on next. Here uh, typical profile creation, advanced profile creation. I am going with advanced profile creation. In this we can customize our own names for the profile node and server. And port numbers we can see. We can give our own port numbers, customized port numbers. So that's why I am going with advanced profile creation. If you go with the typical profile creation, default settings will be taken care. And default configuration settings will be enabled for this profile. So I'm not going for default one, just I'm going with advanced profile creation. Then click on next. Okay. And if you observe here, deploy the administrative console. That means admin console. So like this. This is administrative console for DMGR server. Okay. The same way application server profile also having administrative console before federation okay so uh, and deploy the default applications so some applications will be de um, uh, by default uh, the application server profile contains some default applications okay enable these two and click on next and this is the profile name application server profile name and this is the path so under vas root we have profile directory under profile directory 
we have app server one okay so in this path the profile is going to be created and if you want to change make the changes then browse here and browse our own location okay so but here we are giving the default location for identification okay and click on next here node name here specify the node name I'm giving this is app server node so app server node and the server name is server1 and host name is localhost so if it is DMGR profile here you can see 